to my channel, y'all. I'm so sorry. I haven't posted anything in a few months. Guys, I am so sorry about that. I have been so caught up um, since the beginning of the year, to be very honest. Um, things have been very, very tight in regards to my journey to Ghana. Um, I did go to Ghana in December and returned, and I'm still at it, y'all. Um, so I just wanted to share a little bit of my thoughts. I wanted to discuss the process and moving to Ghana and how it's going for me. And maybe if there's someone out there that's planning on moving to Ghana, I might be able to share some tips that might be helpful. So let's get right into the video. Let's get started. So as you know, I have been back and forth to Ghana year after year and basically those years are starting to add up and just visiting here and there but it's all worth it it is all part of the move or the big move um, you want to start off with getting your feet wet first you don't just want to sell everything up and just move some people do it it works for them and some it just takes a little time so definitely visit the continent as much as possible as long as it takes at least you'll be there for some time you know and see how things work out for you if you are a young family basically a family like myself with kids you might want to definitely find a affordable living to accommodate yourself and your family meaning your kids or spouse or you know whatever it is but basically accommodation is the first thing you would consider so you would be looking into whether you need a two bedroom or three bedroom or you're gonna get a, a rented house or you're gonna build your own or do you just plan on you know staying with family if you have any out there or friends for a period of time you know you want to consider all those things also um, getting on Getting around in Ghana, you want to have a car or have some form of transportation readily available. Um, I don't know if you want to be Ubering around all day, 24-7, for weeks and weeks and weeks and not have some sort of constant uh, transportation. So those are some things to consider as well. Um, for me, my biggest challenge, and I will just be flat out honest, is education for my kids. Now, the education system in Ghana, I'm not saying anything bad about it. However, um, when it gets to affordability, um, it's just not something I'm used to because um, my kids school out here in the States and it's a public school system, so it's free. Absolutely nothing to be paid except, um, you know, field trips or small events, and then they ask you for donations here and there. But the education system overall is free. Uh, transportation is provided through the big yellow school bus, and um, it's things that we're just kind of accustomed to. So moving to Ghana, that is one area that I know I would need to focus on. I have four kids, uh, I would say one in middle school and then three in the elementary school level. So just the idea of paying fees for the next couple of years, not even a couple of years, the next literally like eight, to 10 years, it's like, whoa, it is overwhelming. Um, so it's something that has kind of slowed down my progress towards Ghana a little bit because I know that's a major concern. I have done it before where at the time it was affordable because I had my son who at the time was two go to a very well noted uh, school in Accra and I was able to afford it at the time because it was really just him and um, 
now with four, it's like, mm -mm, I, I can't just imagine having to pay um, for all that. But people in Ghana are doing it, so I'm pretty sure I can do it too. But it's just getting over that um, comfort zone, getting out of that comfort zone of the free education system that we have out here. That's one benefit I do admire. Um, so yeah, that's something to consider uh, if you have a family with kids. Um, also, my final thought or final contribution towards the journey to Ghana is just knowing exactly what you are going to do. It's one thing to just know that, hey, I'm going to Ghana and I have a job to go to. It's another thing saying, hey, you know what, I'm gonna go there and push this idea of a business that I have and, you know, go for it. Or, you know, starting a YouTube channel and saying, hey, I'm gonna make money off of YouTube. Uh, just basically be very realistic with your plans and, um, Consider your account. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. That's something I have to do very, very often. So up until then, I'm still back and forth to Ghana, which I just cannot wait to make that big move. And every year I get more nervous, like, oh my gosh, my kids are getting older. I feel like they're missing out on something. No, they're not necessarily missing out. However, as much as I would love for them to be there and be going to school and, you know, have gained great memories as well of their childhood, um, I do have to be a little bit more realistic. Um, flying out to Ghana alone is pretty costly for a family of six. So me, myself, my husband, and four kids, and then, setting up it's 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 not uh it's not cheap y'all so that's just a little two cents of where i am right now just random late night thoughts i thought i'd share if you have any comments or any advice or any input please feel free to comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and please hit that notification bell button so you can get all the updates I have to share until next time good night